Hello everybody, this is your host Nino and in today's video we shall be doing something less tech oriented than in other occasions, namely simply playing my favorite game. It's a DOS game from the 90s called Red Baron. And you know, while the graphics are dated clearly, it is incredibly atmospheric. That's what I mean with atmospheric, you know. <laughs> and this episode I dedicate to Todor, who has been my companion in arms in all too many such engagements. Not against each other because it's single player, but still uh, against various aces and challenges throughout many, many years. So. Today's task will be simple. I shall be dogfighting a famous ace. And specifically, I want to fight against Manfred von Richthofen, who is the main ace of aces here in general, and uh, the fearsome Red Baron, you know. So, in case you can't read the text here, due to the mystique of his scarlet plane, the Allied pilots referred to Manfred von Richthofen as the Red Baron. He was a master tactician and an effective leader. Discovered by Oswald Bölke, Richthofen eventually rose to command Germany's elite, most elite air unit, Jagdgeschwader 1. He once wrote, I am a hunter. When I have shot down an Englishman, my hunting passion is satisfied for a quarter of an hour. Now let me tell you that he wrote that in his biography and it was actually in a different context. He aimed to differentiate himself there from his brother Lothar von Richthofen, who in Manfred's view was a butcher, in that Lothar could shoot down one English plane after the other without needing a break, just redirecting his guns whereas Manfred needed a little bit of a break after a kill. So that shall be my opponent. As to the airplanes, let's have a look at it. I will let Manfred fly his famous red, uh, it's not this one, his famous red triplane, the Fokker DR1, this thing here. That's not a particularly fast plane, but it has an incredible turn rate and climb rate and is actually a formidable opponent. I must say I am impressed by this plane in every regard, though I personally prefer the Albatross variations, namely these planes here previously, the Albatross uh, no, that's a false. Yeah, this is for instance a D5A, this is a D3. So the Albatross D3 is normally my favorite plane if I'm flying German. And historically, it was in Albatross airplanes that Manfred scored his most victories, not in the famous triplane. But in the triplane, he's simply a better opponent. So we'll give him the triplane. And as to myself, I intend to fight him with consecutively better British and French planes until I'm able <laughs> to either run through all planes or shoot him down. Let's see. Maybe let's start with the first three or something. Let's see what, what happens. So that's the Moraine Sauvignon or Bullet, which is a terrible airplane. This thing, when you fly it, feels like a flying coffin, it's like a ship. This thing, until it turns, it, it becomes the next day. It, it's horrible, it's really awful to fly. So I don't see any chance in winning with this thing, but uh, with the next ones I might actually have a somewhat better chance, right? Next comes an interesting invention of the war, the Airco DH2 Pusher. Now, the funny part is that the Pusher has actually historically a propeller in where you see here this little black square uh, on the back of the fuselage just behind the pilot. This is so because eventually the Germans figured out by actually capturing a, a French plane the idea to synchronize the machine gun and the propeller and they did it properly. 
in an airplane called the Fokker Eindecker, which itself was a rather unremarkable plane, but it could shoot, shoot through the propeller arc. That was an incredible advantage, and soon the Eindeckers were getting down a lot of British and French planes uh, in what became known as the Fokker Scorch. So, in order to counter that threat, uh, eventually the British and French synchronized their machine guns too, but prior to that they had this design here which had the propeller sitting behind the pilot. So this thing has a little bit of weird handling characteristics, but it has its machine gun to the front. It's a somewhat better airplane and decisively better than the bullet. Next comes the Newport. Now, there were different Newport planes, of course, in the, in the war, but this is a Newport 17, and it's an actually really nice airplane, which does not outmaneuver easily the Fokker DR1, in particular wouldn't outturn it or something, but there are certain maneuvers into which you can, so to say, fall into, and due to its nimble reaction, you might briefly uh, pop up in front of Richthofen. Like just, just in front of him, and that's where you could actually shoot him down in such a thing. And then comes what I would generally refer to as luxury. We're having here the Subwith Pup. Everything Subwith is actually awesome. These planes have um, the marvelous characteristic that they are turning to the right incredibly quickly. Historically it was so that, for instance, the Subwith Camel could do a three-quarter right turn faster than a one-quarter left turn <coughs> and that way they could really well out turn other pilots who tried to follow them in, into this. The disadvantage is these things tend to get into a spin so let's see how my chances will be with Manfred in, in any of these and, and then you know then come other planes which I Somehow, yeah, the spads, I'm not a particular fan of the spads. They are very fast, and historically, of course, these were the main French planes in the war in many regards, but, uh, like some of, but these things are not really that, that great against good Manfred. And, yeah, yeah, then there is, of course, let, let's see whether we will get that far, huh? The Subwith triplane, which was essentially an imitation like of the German design, so they both had triplanes at some point. The problem of a triplane is that while it climbs and turns marvelously, uh, of course three wings produce a lot of drag too. So without further ado, we've seen now the possible planes, let's dogfight Manfred. So good Manfred, we're selecting you. The realism panel. I have turned on everything with the exception of limited ammunition and gun jams being allowed because frankly he has no limited ammunition either. Like I never noticed him getting out of ammunition. Okay. And uh, now I won't be fighting him with a camel. I'll be fighting him with a bullet. Uh, that that shouldn't shouldn't go well. Uh, that will go terribly. But amuse yourselves as you see my demise. Do we want a tape of this? Oh yes. They're giving it full throttle. We are egging around because otherwise he'll try to kill me. And yes, I scored at least one hit against him. Okay. And now he has the in every way better airplane than me. He doesn't even care. No, I don't want to command anyone, I just wanna lie into it. Yeah, now I have a chance and this guy is... Oh yes, excellent. Hit him again. I actually scored at least a few bullet holes against this guy. 
but he's generally speaking an absolute nightmare to fly against. Looking up now, he is slightly doing some maneuver around my wing and he's trying to, yeah, get behind me. Yes, of course you are trying to do that, my man. But will it be quite so easy? We shall see. You know, I can't straight turn, but if I use now a right rudder, now a left rudder, I have a little bit of a chance to uh, keep at least something going. But it's still difficult. As I don't see him, I assume he has some really nice position out of which he doesn't want to get. And... Ah! He's there! Saw his wing tip. So not all is lost. Yes, Manfred. Haven't given up. terrain. In reality I would start to try to creep along forests and whatnot here, but there are no forests. And I crashed onto the front. I'm just gonna call that A. Yes, A1 actually. I managed to crawl out of what's left of my aircraft. And I'm in hospital. Okay. month and another one but let us see I have recovered and I return to service very good we both have survived our dogfight but it shall go on with good man for it this time with a Somewhat better airplane. Let's try an air code the H2 pusher, which I showed you before. This weird one with the propeller behind, right? A realism panel you see is always the same unless I change it, so it's just the same as before. And we begin. Saved. I don't know, did I? When you save it, you can make later a movie out of it. Manfred, that was not so easy, huh? This weird thing with the gun stretched on the front, yeah, that's actually working. It's not a very good airplane, but... Uh, at least it does not steer completely like a ship the way the Moraine bullet did. Where is he? I'm looking above. He is not there. Ah, he is there. I saw him. Aha. Okay. Yeah, let's try a little bit different. Yeah, Manfred. This is not quite so the way you're used to. He's not going to distance. We're going to have a chance. Ah, but this thing is so underpowered. It's a completely underpowered airplane. And 
now let's rotate it. But then, <laughs> I had him, but maybe now he has me. I know he likes to turn to the right, so I prefer to turn to the left. Right now he has the advantage. So got him a little bit. Alfred, how often do you want to do this? Now I'm in difficulties. Decisively. Okay, lost too much altitude. So, couldn't get him down with that one either. Next one then. No serious injuries, but Manfred, you started smoking. We both survived the dogfight, I lost my airplane. Okay, Manfred. Let's have it, huh? Sup with camel? No, I would love to. Let's try a new port 17. Now that's a really nice plane. As opposed to this other trash I was flying. You tried to hit me. Uh oh I guess that's our common demise, huh? It's not very good. <laughs> I'm dangerously low. Well, guess what I am. Okay. So you know what? I still want to have it in this thing. Yeah, we both died. So far it has been draw after draw after draw and we didn't have a nice good dog fight. So none of us survived the aerial engagement because good Manfred decided to run into me. But of course his side of the story is that I ran into him. We're now going to go back to the new port 17 and begin. Manfred is now has 
now finally decided from which side to attack me. The bullets in this plane are incredibly slow compared to the airplanes themselves. So this time he got it. on this loop unfortunately he has the advantage so I don't like that too much and I'm gonna change directions <laughs> yeah wow Manfred you're, you're good today you're also pretty good historically like I mean seriously Control situation. I just fancy sitting in such a thing flying at hundreds kilometers per hour and trying to hit another such thing. Flying tank is this? million times well and indeed it is the new part 17 with which one has any form of serious chance against Manfred von Richthofen So, yeah, I am simply Nino, and that's pretty much it for today. Or would you like to see a final one of me sitting again in that terrible ship? Let's give Manfred a chance for revenge. I'll be sitting in the Moran bullet and he will shoot me out of the sky just like in a terrible fashion. Let's let's give Manfred this satisfaction, right? <laughs> so Oh I pray that he doesn't shoot me, but I won't shoot him. Our celestial duel has begun. Our machines are circling through the clouds. I don't even know that I hit him. And then that thing... Hitting anything is an absolute marvel. Ah. 
I heard it, I hit him. Once, at least. Well, to stall. That's my only chance. I need to stall. I need to stall onto my back in order to have a little bit more maneuverability than him. Ah, he turned. And now God knows what he will do. Yeah, we see what he's doing. He does what he does. Is he on me? No, no, above me. Behind me? Yeah, he's behind me. Oh, great. Okay, let's dive into it. Let's get it higher. Let's dive into it. Let's get it higher. And we have a little bit of chance to maneuver with this thing by doing a couple of other influences together with the other maneuvers. But I'm soon gonna be out of hate, and he's not. And uh, maybe if I stop. Come on, let let let, let land. I've been wounded, huh? Okay, nine again, and we go on. Now let's try a guerrilla fight. See, if I'm creeping along the floor, my old oil pressure is dropping. Uh, you see, if I'm along the floor, he cannot find better than me. say about this guerrilla fight, my man? Yeah, <laughs> trying to get behind me, but you know what? I can change the direction very suddenly. Then you are no longer behind me. However... Well, that was an interesting tactic. Ultimately, I succumbed to my wounds. And now Manfred von Richthofen has shot me down. I mean, I just imagine how he tells about the story. And then the guy landed and then he started to, to taxi on the front. And he continued to, <laughs> to shoot at me. So, yeah, that's that. So, Manfred has had his revenge now. And... Thank you for watching, hope to greet you here soon again, if you want to try out that game I absolutely recommend it, it is actually still sold nowadays and I wish you much fun with that. So till next time and from me, goodbye.